Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today I just have like a bunch of random piece of information. The first thing I want to talk about is this Saturday on May 4th, uh, I'm going to be at Golden Apple Comics. Uh, they were nice enough to have me. I even made like a little flyer, so I'll put it up here so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to be at Golden Apple Comics handing out the free Spider-Man Venom comic book for free comic book day. I'm actually going to be in the back of the store with writer Jerry Duggan, who is uh, writing the upcoming Savage Avengers comic book starring Venom, amongst other characters, Wolverine, Punisher, Elektra, uh, Brother Voodoo, and Conan the Barbarian. So I'm very excited for that because uh, I get to hang out with him. He's going to be handing out copies of his Avengers comic, uh, like his free comic book day one, which I think is a lead-in to his Savage Avengers series. That also is coming out. I think that book releases today, uh, May 1st, so definitely go pick up up Savage Avengers. I will do a review of it at some point soon, but first I, what I want to do is I want to do an interview with Jerry. Hopefully I can get one because uh, I don't know what his schedule is like, what, you know, what his time frame is like after he does his signing at Golden Apple, but I would love to you know, get him for a few minutes and just ask him a couple questions. So if any of you guys have any questions that you want me to ask him, let me know down below and I'll say they're from you, you know, uh, you know uh, when I do the interview. Um, so yeah, so please, you know, if you can, if you have any questions, anything you're you know, curious about from the upcoming book, uh, now that the book's out, you know, go read it, buy it digitally if you, you know, can't get to a comic store and read it and let me know your questions down below if you have any questions from issue one of the series. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do that. So I'll be handing out those free books. I'm gonna film everything there, obviously. I we're going to make a fun Venom vlog of just me handing out the books, talking to people, asking them, you know, which symbiote's their favorite, what's their favorite thing about Venom, did they like the movie, you know, I'm just going to ask people random questions and try to get some footage. Uh, I'll do the best I can because obviously I gotta, I'm there to work too and hand out the comic and talk to people, uh, but I'll try to record as much as I can and make that one solid episode and then do the interview with Jerry as a second episode uh, for you guys. So that's going to be a lot of fun, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the other things I saw coming up, uh, July is going to be a big month. It's going to be Carnage Month, pretty much, because Absolute Carnage will be starting uh, soon after, I think in August. So in July, Marvel's doing a bunch of variant covers. Uh, some of them have been revealed, so I'll do an episode coming up showing some of them off for sure. Um, but uh, but in this one, you know, in this episode, the, the thing I'm going to show off is actually this cool thing they're doing where they're, they have all these, like, um, you know, $1 reprints, which we've, you know, talked about that before in, uh, you know, when Venom, for his 30th anniversary, they reprinted a bunch of Venom books uh, for, you know, for a dollar. And uh, that way you can just kind of get all these, like, little fun adventures of the character just for a buck, um, which is pretty cool. But uh, this time they're doing Absolute Carnage. And they're going to reprint a lot of fun stuff. They got uh, the Absolute Carnage She-Venom that they're going to reprint, which is weird. I don't think even Carnage is in that issue, but this is just to celebrate the month of Carnage. They got Carnage USA number one. They got the first appearance of Carnage uh, from uh, Spider-Man, uh, you know, uh, 361. The first issue of Venom vs. Carnage. The issue we talked about where Carnage becomes Silver Surfer for an issue. Uh, Spider-Man Unlimited, which is the beginning of Maximum Carnage. That's a pretty thick $1 book, actually, because that was a that was a thick issue. Um, then you also have, uh, you know, Mania here, which is like the beginning of Mania. I think that's the Daniel Way uh, Venom run. It's reprinting Venom number one. So I think they already did that, the Shiver one, but I guess they're redoing it again. Separation Anxiety, they're going to reprint that one. Carnage Mind Bomb, that's a pretty cool one they're going to reprint. And Planet of the Symbiotes Part 1, they're reprinting. So all those are coming up in Carnage Month, which will be July. So I'll probably do another, like, Carnage Week in July for you guys, because I actually really like doing those, and we've done like two or three of them already. So I figured, you know what, since it's season three now, we should do a Carnage Week. So we're gonna dive into that. We're gonna, uh, you know, explore uh, more Carnage stuff, just dedicate the whole week to just Carnage like we did before. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, then we also have um, a friend of mine, Ryan Cady, who actually used to work with me at Top Cow when I worked at Top Cow. He's gonna be doing a one-shot uh, annual, Venom annual, for the Acts of Evil event. Uh, in July, and it's Venom versus uh, Lady Hellbender, who I actually know nothing about this character. I don't know anything about her, but apparently she's coming to Earth, and she has a taste for Clintars. So uh, yeah, Ryan Cady, it's so cool. He's a, he's a young dude. He's I think he's like maybe like 10 years younger than me or something like that, uh, but he started at Top Cow right around the time I was leaving Top Cow, and he was a really nice guy, and we stayed in touch over the years, and I've seen his career like blow up. He's written stuff for DC now, and he's now he's writing a Venom annual, and I'm so insanely uh, jealous I, on one level, but I'm also so proud of him because when he started at Top Cow, that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a writer, and he showed the initiative, and he kicked a lot of ass, and he, he paid his dues, and he worked his butt off, and he's a great guy. He's a really good person to be around, um, so I'm very excited, so I'm going to actually try to get him on the show when this issue comes out 
to talk about it so we can interview him as well because uh just so awesome it's so cool to see him come this far already and writing venom no less uh like how awesome is that like that's all of our dreams right is to start somewhere and work our way up to that so very proud of ryan for doing this and i'm very excited because i'm going to try to get him on the show to talk about it so uh yeah so if you you know if you follow ryan online definitely uh let him know that you know i, I already let him know that i'm interested and have him on the show but definitely request and be like hey you got to go on the venom vlog you know so that way we can get him on here and he can talk about this new book he's writing and then beyond that i think in like july or august i don't know exactly when they're coming out but there's new funko pops i'll put the picture right here uh they're doing another series of venom funko pops like venomized funko pops and like i said in the month of july they're doing carnage covers like they did you know carnageized i guess like they did with venomized where they did all these covers where all the characters were venom uh that's what these uh, funko pops come from is the venomized line so it looks like they're going to do some more they got like thanos in here and daredevil and daredevil looks kind of carnage-ish which is pretty cool um and then there's like a uh, wolverine like the x-23 wolverine so there's some cool characters in here i'm not sure i'm going to get any of them because i you know the first series came out i only bought the venom figure um and but i didn't get any of the other ones i didn't get carnage or anybody else so i'm not so sure i'm going to collect these because i'm not really a funko pop fan Fan. Uh, but although from time to time I do buy like one or two if they uh, you know if it's a character I really really love but in these lines you know nothing really here for me uh, getting a venomized version of most of these characters doesn't really excite me too much if they do another venom action figure line definitely I'll be down for that and if they include some of these characters as venomized characters in that line I'll probably get them but as Funko Pops not really my thing but I know a lot of you guys out there might be big fans of this so that's why I wanted to bring this to your attention if you haven't already seen it I'm sure you have if you follow me on social media you saw me post these on Twitter already uh, and other people probably as well like Venom Site and you know uh, Bizarnage and all these great people that we follow on there uh, but you know for me I was like yeah they're cool looking but they're not really for me but I know you guys might like them so I wanted to share them here uh, so that's all the information I have really today I know there's like a carnage like a, a marvel select statue coming out if i find a picture of it i'll try to put that up here as well uh because that one i'm interested in because that could go with my venom one that i have behind me you can see right over my shoulder and now i have a dr strange one so it looks like i'm going to end up start collecting these things um if i have the money to but for the uh, carnage one I definitely want to get so I can have it back there with Venom uh, because, you know, with the new movie coming out, you know, we're going to be ramping up. They start filming it late in the fall. Right now, the rumor or the talks are that they're going to probably start filming in November for Venom 2. And so, you know, leading up to that, we're going to talk a lot about Carnage. There's going to be the Absolute Carnage series coming out, you know, with uh, by Donny Cates. I'm probably not going to cover it weekly with each issue, um, but I'll, I'll probably cover it like in trade when it comes out because at that point, you know, there'll be movie news coming out and we'll be switching back, leaning away from the comics and talking a lot about casting and a lot of things like that people will be you know filming their behind the scenes footage of them filming like in the streets of atlanta or wherever they film the sequel there's going to be people you know like filming it and stuff so we're going to be covering that stuff again so it's going to be really great it's going to be like the original you know back when we first started this show when we covered all that stuff it's going to feel like that all over again which will be really exciting because we'll be counting down to the you know the first teaser trailer the first full trailer uh you know the first image official images we'll be getting into all that stuff leading up to venom 2 or venom vs carnage whatever they call it and I cannot wait. I'm so excited for that. So uh, so for now, we're just going to stick to comics. We're going to do the Versus series. We're going to do other stuff. But anytime news pops up like this, where there's like a bunch of things coming out, like merchandise, I'll try to cover that too, just so we can shake it up and we're not just talking about comic books in every episode. Uh, even though we talk about a few comic books in this one, you know, with stuff coming out. Uh, Cause I also think in July, uh, Donny Cates' Venom number 16 comes out, so that'll cover, you know, after the War of the Realms. And for those of you who are wondering where my coverage of War of the Realms is, it's coming. So basically what I'm going to do is I've been buying the main War of the Realm series and a couple of the spinoffs, including Venom, obviously. But for those of you who aren't reading it, I highly suggest you do because I think it's really cool Venom stuff. It's a great side story. If you're loving the Donny Kate stuff, I still think it's a great, you know, side adventure to go on. It has Dylan. They mentioned Rex in it. There's a lot of like, you know, things that reference Donny Kate stuff. Colin Bunn is doing a really great job trying to pay respects to what Donny's doing, but also tell this really fun side story with this new version of Venom uh, that I've already started liking. I love the artwork. Aban is doing great on it. So we will cover all that, you know, as soon as I can. And don't worry, those of you who've been asking me, hey, are you going to cover the cartoons, like Spectacular Spider-Man, all that stuff, and other video games? I definitely will. I know we've done some of that early on in the show, but I will definitely do more of those later this summer as well. So thank you all so much. Let me know what you think of all this information, the Funko Pops. Are you going to buy them? The, the Carnage covers, are you going to get them? The statue, whatever it is, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below, and we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.